It's week 15 of the NFL, and we'll see the versatile Debo Samuel. Big plays follow him around. He comes in second in the NFL in receiving yards. It's the 49ers and the Cardinals. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Today on to week 15 in the NFL, and we've got a good matchup in store. As it is San Francisco 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They come in off the extended break from the bye. I think it was much needed as well. You play two, two and a half months, you're ready for some time off to get set for the home stretch. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, they've been flawless all year long as they hit the home stretch at 13 and 0. And now they just have to guard against complacency. You still gotta go out and earn it every week. The buys are over, it's now a four week sprint to the finish and we are underway here in week 15. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever from Iowa State. It's Brock Purdy. And you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any side of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. Another good carry there for the NFL's second leading rusher. And we've talked on air, off air about his MVP candidacy. Make a case for him. Well, I'm just going to tell you point blank. It doesn't matter whether he's first or second or even third in the league in rushing yardage. That's not the main deal. It's how he gets those yards and the impact he has on his ball club. Now on first down, it's Purdy. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Well, remember, these two teams met earlier in the year in Santa Clara with the Niners coming out on top. So a win here in Arizona would give them the season sweep. Second down at six now from the 42. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Look at this Arizona defense. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. And the focus now is making sure that they're hitting on all cylinders as they head into the playoffs. And that means they've got to stop the run better. Because playoff football often means running football. So they get And the pressure will bring it down here. The Cardinals get home for the side. Carlos Dunlap, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Not too shabby here. This will skip out of bounds at about the 12-yard line. The Cardinals offense set to take over for the first time, and they are piloted by their fifth-year quarterback, two-time Pro Bowler as well, Kyler Murray. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break, but how about the guy calling the signals? 
he's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. First carry for James Conner. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, this defense for the Niners, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game, came from all angles, created a lot of illusions, and especially just beat them man for man. That's the kind of defense that really frustrates an opponent. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And his throw here's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Murray going to throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense, they're coming back out onto the field. And we're going to give you a look at the playoff picture now into the weekend in the NFC. And for them, it's no longer a question of will they make the playoffs. They've clinched the division title. The question, can they hold on to that number one seat? And this is where the mental fortitude comes to play, doesn't it? Because now you're not just the coach talking about it. It's team talking about it to each other, supporting each other, carrying each other along, because having that number one seed means everything in the NFL. It does. So even though the division title's clinched, shouldn't take the foot off the gap. No, not at all. Play it all the way through. And I think we've seen that in recent years in the NFL. The teams that play and play to win each and every game, they're the ones to deal with in the playoffs. There's a nice move. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Purdy connects with Kittle underneath and inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. The throwing here, Purdy. That's caught out right by Jennings. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Here's Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape for the first and goal. McCaffrey will score. Touchdown, 49ers. 
Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. A drive that time of six plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. So, Charles, the season winding down, the playoffs obviously not in their future. As they look ahead to the offseason, what spots do they maybe need to fill? Well, I think that they like the guy who's calling the plays and throwing the ball. I think that he's a pretty good player. Need some help, I think, on the perimeter, though. Help him out with receivers, because I think if he gets an upgrade there, his play gets that much better, too. You look at this Niner defense. They were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, the head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. He's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. Play action. Now it's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. This now a third and four. Murray now to throw. Staying on his feet. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger, bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Murray now on first down. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Play fake. Murray rolling to his right. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Multiple players getting home for the one-yard sack. By that time, it looked like he essentially just ran right into the pass rush. Yeah, partner, I'm not much of an outdoorsman, but the fish jumped right into the net, didn't he? Because you've got to make sure that you're deep enough that you can get around the defensive end, have an angle there. But he couldn't do it because he actually cut that one off. Really nice play coming off the edge. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they get five there on third and two. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. First down, Murray. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and ten. Now Murray. Takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. 
from the gun on third down, Murray. And the Niners get there and bring him down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to four. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. On fourth down, Matt arises, sent on to punt. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said when we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one. And I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Only a yard of the pickup there and it'll bring out the third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you get ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Pulled in at the 24. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Cards will take over first and 10. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And they had lost two in a row prior to getting the open week last weekend. So potentially a chance for them to get away for a bit, heal up, and come back strong. That's what the hope is anyway, because you're going to find out now with your team, are you still focused on being the best you can be for the rest of the season with the things going the way they had earlier this year? Now a second and ten. Throwing now is Murray. Throw out wide is incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Murray now. Flush to his right. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Gain of nine that time on the scramble. One yard shy of the marker, and it brings up fourth. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. 
And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Ayuk goes in motion. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Well, this offense, Charles, well, we've talked about how well they played all season. Sitting now at 13-0 and with a finish line for a perfect regular season. That's in sight. Some of the media this week were pointing back to the 07 Patriots. Of course, remember, they finished the regular season unbeaten, but they were tested multiple times in that final month plus. Yeah, with something like four of their last six wins were one possession games, and they played like a team that was trying to protect something instead of chasing something. And that's what happens when you have an undefeated record. So it behooves you as a team, get a couple of blowouts in there so you get a chance to relax and breathe. But that's much easier said than done. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll run with a fullback. Use check. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Well, he needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. He's second in the NFL in interceptions, and you understand why. He plays the game with great intelligence, understands positioning, and has a great ability to break on the football when it's in the air. So fun to watch his closing speed and another example. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. He may go back to the huddle, have a little discussion with his passer. You know, maybe you don't have to leave me quite that much. <laughs> but on that play, bailed him out in a big way, didn't he? He did indeed. Hey, at least he gets to put it on the highlight reel. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 50 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and six. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Over the middle, that's caught by McLeod. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll leave him with a third and two. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The offense on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. 
They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. That is not going to be any help as they dump it behind the line of scrimmage. Well, they tried to catch him by surprise, I think, there with that little pop pass on third down, but no luck. You're right about no luck, but I did like the idea, I like the thought process. Make an unconventional call on third down sometimes. It can pop big. In this case, it didn't. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. To return it, Darius Phillips. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that is incomplete. Now wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, but we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Back to the air on second down. It's Murray. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Throwing again, Murray. He'll fire deep, looking for Moore. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. Here's second and ten. Shotgun now for Murray. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. From the gun, Murray. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Second down and six now. Now Murray again. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Murray. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Middle of the field, he finds Pascal. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. To throw is Murray. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. 
as the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. So the late touchdown there, and that certainly changes things as we move toward halftime. Yeah, and there's a potential for things to change even more because remember, they get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they can potentially double up here and take the lead. A great opportunity for them. Extra point good by Prater. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And leading 10-7, they may just want to get this to the locker room. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. On second down, Connor looking for space. Trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Third down and 10. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Here's McLeod on the return. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. On first down, Purdy. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Purdy. That's Samuel caught left side. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 
It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. No surprise this offense would be able to convert. They're currently second in the league in first downs, and they pick up one here. Yeah, not a stat that we talk about a heck of a lot, but it's a vital one, and in this case, it's really vital because what does it do? Keeps their defense off the field, gives them a chance to rest. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Purdy will set up to throw it here. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Carlos Dunlap picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting the sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. Third and 20. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over. Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Nothing too fancy, just to carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him, otherwise you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Purdy now on second down. Connects with Kittle underneath. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it brings up third and five now. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way of working out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Back to throw. Purdy steps away. And he's not able to get away. Sacks back at the 22. It's Shaq Lawson who worked his way in there to get him down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, 
That's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let him put some points on the board. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. That'll go as a pickup of eight. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first and ten, here's Murray. He'll dump this one off to Connor. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now Murray. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. McLeod to return it. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Niners set to take over on offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Second and nine. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team. Defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up balls and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Third down and six. Shotgun now with Purdy. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. Here comes the 49ers punter now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. 
And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Cardinal offense coming back out. Let's give you a look at the playoff race now. This is end of the weekend in the NFC. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start the drive with a give to Connor. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine now from the 21. Murray now. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And now that brings up fourth down there. A loss of six yards on the sack. And it has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. A good work bringing that one back as he picks up about 16 on the return. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that will work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Second down and four. This is McCaffrey. Oh, no, he lost the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks them up. And avoids the turnover. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. First down, here's Mitchell. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Second and eight coming from the 19. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding offense. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it. You make a great movie scene, right? 
go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Once again, it's Mitchell. Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. This offense so far on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third down and 12. Purdy looking to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. Shanahan doesn't care much for that last call, so out comes the red challenge flag. Biggest play is under review. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge does not sway the official's decision. The spot of the football going to remain right where it is. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier, probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That's Zayden Collins into the backfield with ease and making the stick. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. The slot man in motion right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. Debo Samuel with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Niners add on to their lead. And it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Murray now on first down. 
And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that will bring up second down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical. And you figure, may only get one more shot after this. So a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Third and two, and here's Murray. That's to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Couple of Oklahoma teammates there. Murray to Brown for a Cardinal first. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Throwing again, Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Murray going to throw. He'll get this to Connor underneath. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. There's Murray. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Now Murray's got to have this one. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And the Niners are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. On the draw, here's Mitchell. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On second down, here's Mitchell. And he will have a Niners first down, and that ought to be the one that seals the victory. And we'll see if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice.
Purdy down to a knee, and that should be the final act of the ball game. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> for San Francisco and it was their defense that really made the statement after the break they pitched the second half shutout yeah 